Come on over here to our iPad and show you what's different. So first of all, I'm gonna tap on songs. Again, this is our typical example library, nothing too special here. Uh, and we've changed that plus button in all songs to a, looks like an import download type button, uh, which I think has helped people out a little bit. I, I kind of like it, so, so it's gonna stay. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, so you can see here, we got lots of ways to import songs. Song select, again, if you're a house of worship, you're probably already using song select. Um, if we tap on that, the interface has changed just slightly here. Uh, we have who you're signed in as down in the lower left. You can sign out. And the settings uh, wrench icon has been moved to the right. Other than that, it looks very similar to what you're used to. And we can just get started by searching for a song. And because everybody knows this song, we're going to type in Amazing Grace, hit search. And here we have a couple of different versions of it. I do know the third one down is the public domain song. So we're gonna tap on that. Now here's the difference, right? The original version, you could tap on songs, put a check mark next to them and import them. That's the only option you really had. Now we have different formats that we can import as. First and foremost, the great new feature of this is that you can import just Chord Pro. Uh, Chord Pro is a text-based document, works great in on song. It's text, lyrics, and chords. And of course, all the information about the song is built in there as well. Um, but we chose to have it automatically download the chord sheet because that's what you're used to in Song Select. That's typically what you might import. And a chord sheet is a PDF document. Uh, now we have different formatting options. So you can import that as a single column or two column. So I'm gonna import that as a two column document. And you can also select the key here as well. Now OnSong could always download the chart and then you can transpose it later, but hey, we, we thought why not give you the option to download the key that you want right away. And you can also download it as a PDF file with numbers and also solfege, fixed do, do and movable do. So if you're into do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, there you go, you can use that as well. I'm not personally a fan of that uh, when I'm playing music, so I'll just download the alphabetic key of G. Okay, so when I hit import, that's gonna download that chart, bring it up in my song viewer, and there we go. Now we have a two column version of Amazing Grace from Song Select ready to view. Now the other thing that you could do is, you can see that we didn't automatically go back to the song list here, and this is a change that's across the board for all of your import methods in OnSong, and that is we're not gonna immediately take you back to that song list, we're gonna leave you there in, the, in that import screen, and if you want, then you can kind of browse around, pick some other things to import, import those. When you're all done, you can hit done. We'll do that in just a second. But I'm gonna download another um, version. Let's say I'm gonna do it in B flat. I'm gonna import that. Whoa. I know, creative, huh? Um, or, you know, maybe I want it C, but I want it as one column. So I can import that as well. That's a little bit bigger to, to view. And when I'm all done, I can hit done, and then I go back to my song list. And you can see Amazing Grace is selected there. Now, because we've added attachments in OnSong 2022, which is a great new feature, um, all of those things have been downloaded to my device. I don't need, need the internet now to access them. I can just tap on that pages icon with the check mark in the upper right corner, and there's all my attachments. Those are all the, the versions of the song I have, and I can just switch between them by tapping on it. Just like that. Now again, I could still go and transpose that song the way I used to with the style preferences menu. You can see here, there's my style preferences menu. So let's say I wanted to uh, look at that two column PDF document in the key of E. I could tap, you can see a little spinner shows up. Bam, I got the key of E. What that did under the hood is kind of the same thing that we were doing with our song select import interface. It created a new attachment and brought that down for me to take a look at. Now, once I have that PDF document, we can also look at that different ways. We can't do any formatting because it's a PDF file and it's kind of shown as is, but I can tap on document and I can view that in low light mode if I want. And the really neat thing is if I wanted to change the formatting of this document, I could come in here and tap Chord Pro. And now I have full Chord Pro document with all my chords and lyrics. I can edit this in OnSong and I can change all the formatting as well. Mm. And if you don't have 
access to the internet. Let's say you download a chart, it's a PDF chart, you, you get to where you're going, you don't have internet, you go, oh, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, you have that Chord Pro version and then you can just easily transpose that. And all that is done on the device. It doesn't have to run out to the internet and grab it. By the way, if you are looking to do these songs, you might wanna just make sure that you transpose and download those charts um, when you have internet. And then OnSong remembers that it's all on the device. So if you do need to transpose the song, it will allow you to transpose to those particular keys uh, without internet which is, I think, a pretty cool feature, yeah.